Hey traders, today we're looking into a new scalping strategy which is based on the five minute chart. Let's dive right in. So to get the first indicator, we have to go to the indicators tab and type in the search bar SMI MFI. Then you'll see the stochastic momentum index and that one is based with the money flow index. So click it once and it'll be on your chart. So as you can see, there's a lot going on, but actually it's just the stochastic momentum index combined with the money flow index. The money flow index uses volume and price to measure buying and selling pressure and the stochastic momentum index, as you know, the stochastic um, that uses difference between the current closing price and the high or low price over a specific time period to measure price momentum. And if you combine these, you gain more insight into the market. So that's why this is literally a really strong indicator. And that's probably why it has an editor pick on it. So this indicator is, has just a lot of visualizations into it like this red uh, box it's actually telling that the price is underneath the 40 level of the stochastic so it's over sold so we are waiting for a pullback to the bullish side and that's actually how our strategy is going to work we'll have to figure out a way where the price is in a bullish market well as you can see you're making higher highs so that's always in the bullish side. We need a pullback in this indicator where it turns red. So it should be underneath the 40 level. This purple line right now is 35, but it's a dynamic 40 level. So it uses the money flow index to calculate the current um, oversold and overbought level. So let the indicator do that. We just follow this purple line, shall we? So it's right over there and we are looking for a bullish cross. And you can see that histogram, it literally just corresponds with these waves. Actually, these waves correspond with the histogram. But as visualization, we just like to see the waves. So you have a cross here. And then the next candle, you see that the histogram is turning blue there. And on the candle close, you should be able to take a long position. So that's going to be there. But where do you place your stop loss? That's underneath the latest swing low if you want to use an ATR or something like that it's all up to you for this strategy and back test we are going to use the latest swing low is this a really swing low it actually is but just for as an example we are going to place it right there and what do we do for the risk reward ratio we're going to do that 1 to 1.5 and that's basically it and this is vice versa. You have a overbought level right there. It's above the 40 level. You have a bearish cross right there. Should you take a, a short position right there on the candle close here? No, you should not. Because we are in an uptrend. And we do not take short positions in an uptrend for scalping strategies like this one. So what do we want to add? We want to add another indicator and it's going to be the EMA. I almost always use the EMA. We're going to change the settings. I just like it to be white because it's very clear on my chart, but that's you might have a white chart. So you don't want a white line. Make something else. OK, the length is 200. And as you can see, my drawn down EMA line right here is almost right. Not really, but you can see that the price is above the EMA. So there are no short positions right here. We only look for long positions. OK, let me show you another entry. Right here, you have the same principle. You are above the 200 EMA. You have a oversold position and on this bar went back over the zero line the histogram so you can take a long position there so just stop loss underneath the last swing low 
that's there and do a risk reward to 1 to 1.5 like that and I'll show you a short position right here you have a you are underneath the 200 EMA it's overboard it didn't cross here it went still overboard and right here it crossed on a downwards momentum so that's why you take a short position stop loss on the latest swing high and same again 1 to 1.5 like that easy as that but this indicator is also really good with divergences so i'll give you one example of a divergence um when the oscillator is going uh, up you're making higher lows like here and the price is still going lower lows like here like this is going down this one is going up that, me that means that you have a bullish divergence and that means that there's a reversal coming in well the chances are higher that there is a reversal coming in so when you see stuff like this um, and you get an entry here to take a short position you'll have to think about it if it's worth it or not to take a short position there because you just had a divergence um, because the chances are pretty big that um, you have some upwards momentum it doesn't exactly mean that you go above the 200 EMA ex uh, instantly but the current price action is going upwards and that can hit the 200 EMA but then you have a false signal right there because you just had a, di a divergence and it's the same principle when you are in a bullish scenario, like I'm going to show you now. So here I have one example. You can see that the high here to there, it's going down if you keep uh, it at a straight line. But if you start from the same position on the price, it keeps going up, it keeps going up exactly on this point as well. It keeps going up. So we cannot have this uh, momentum keep on going. Like I said, it doesn't mean that we instantly break the 200 EMA and you are in a downwards momentum, but you will get a pullback. Well, the chances are bigger that you get a pullback because something is not right here. So if you would get a long position right here, it's pretty sketchy to take one. And right here you have one ex as example. There's a long position right there. Um, would you take it? That's always up to you. But if I see a divergence like that, I, I don't like to take the entry. But um, of course, this is pretty hard to spot because if you go in replay mode, you can see right now that, that you, you can set the line like this and you can set this line like that or you, you start like this to have some uh, momentum going on. But you're not sure this price can still break this line that you just draw. So you have to wait, you have to wait for confirmations. Keep keep on extending these lines. Look, now it made a high. So it's going down right now. So now you know, okay, the price is still going up like that. Oh, let, let's see what the price is going to do. Oh, the price still goes up. Okay, let's extend this line. But right here, it didn't go up at all. So we have something like a confirmation like that. I prefer to take a short position right here than to take a long position on this circle. But you are in an uptrend. So what are you on about? Do you do you even want to take that short? Well, you can draw some multiple lines here. And if you have this confirmation that um, you had some liquidity crap like that, here, there's a pretty big wick. You could take a short position right here. I would. But that's always up to you. Where do you set your target profit? Well, you can do a one-to-one, -one, just a quick scalp. But that's up to you because, and why did I put my target profit right there? Because if you extend this line, you can see that there's a uh, trend line support. So if it would break through, okay, then I'm missing some profit, but we are in a uptrend. So I don't want to take these really big trades. You can get into for a quick scalp like that. But overall, I would not recommend to take a 1 to 1.5, like here. It might even hit, uh, I can't even remember. But I don't really like to, to, to do that because then I'm really trading against a trend. But yeah, 
Okay, I just wanted to show you this because I think um, using divergences is a really stepping uh, step up for your game. Um, use them. Um, keep drawing them on the chart because it's always really hard. It's really easy to tell if you had a divergence here. But real time, it's really harder. So that's why I wanted to show this example. Just keep drawing the line, just extend them. And when you get a pullback like here with the red uh, wave, then you know, okay, this is the latest high. So it's lower than the previous one. That's what I wanted to show you. So 100 back tests are coming in. Um, when I take an entry, I just do a quick check if there is a divergence or not. I miss, I, I probably miss a few. Um, but I'll just keep them in mind. So if I see uh, some signals of that the trend is going to reverse, I will not take the long or short position. So yeah. So I'm going to start the back test right now. So, number eight of all our strategies tested. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty good, but it's not that good if you're not using these divergences with it. I start with without using any of them, um, just to see um, if I get can get a consistent uh, winning percentage. But it was pretty bad, so I just had to include these divergence checks before. I even can take an entry but okay this is just basically a really simple strategy and if you include scalping um, with purely these divergences and your own support and resistance trend lines Fibonacci retracement I can tell you that this can be your main strategy and you can start earning with this really easily well easily what is easily it is hard to stay consistent. Um, it is hard to always follow your stop loss because a lot of times you have liquidity grabs from uh, the whales who will hit your stop loss and then it goes exactly on the uh, towards the point where you thought it was going to be. But that's with every strategy. Um, if you want to learn more about these liquidity crabs, um, just look into smart money concept. Um, it's pretty interesting. But for a strategy like this, we do not use any of that. But uh, yeah, this this is a really nice win rate, in my opinion. Nice gain on account for 42 days. And add your own technical analysis on top of it, and you can start trading with it. So yeah. Thumbs up for me and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.